folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia Holbrook. Um, originally, I started this channel a while back um, because I'm in the Army National Guard and I'm a recruiter here in, here in Wyoming. Um, and I wanted to give military people like different tips and tricks that are kind of common sense, but hey, maybe you didn't know it. Um, and I've since kind of changed my mind and I, well, I fell out of the, the YouTube passion and um, got re-motivated because I do a lot of camping and I like to do outdoor stuff. I've got a five-year-old son, Barrett. He just turned five. He's actually with me right now. Hey, buddy. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> he likes to go camping a lot. Huh? And hiking. And hiking and fishing and just whatever we can do outside. So, you know, I changed, I changed my direction. I want to do some tips and tricks for outdoors adventures whatever is it gonna last hopefully we'll see I've got a few more um, videos that I already plan on making um, which brings me to today's video because I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about me so today I want to talk about my rooftop tent that I got I wanted a rooftop tent for a really long time and I did a lot of research I like I said I live in Wyoming and if any of you have been here you know the wind blows a lot and it blows hard and fast and strong and fast. There's like either no wind or 100 mile an hour wind. So I wanted something that I could set up quick but would also hold up to the wind. Am I gonna be out there camping in 80 mile an hour wind? Uh, Probably not, I hope not. It hasn't happened yet. Hopefully it doesn't happen, it doesn't need to happen. Why not, Mommy? Well, because I don't feel like camping in a tornado. Oh. So, um, I decided to go with Roof Nest because they had some pretty good reviews. Um, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on one. Um, and I looked, they had three options. They had what was called the Condor, the Sparrow, and the Falcon. And I looked at all three. I chose to go with the Sparrow Adventure XL. And I'll explain to you at the end of the video, if you're still with me, why I did that. Um, a few specs real quick about it. I just went to their site. This is directly from their site. It is June. 5th, 2022. Um, the price on the Adventure Sparrow XL is $3,595. Um, they say it sleeps two to three people. I know I can sleep me and my son up there with extra room, plenty of extra room. My niece just slept with us this weekend. Um, she's like, I don't know, nine or 10. And we, old, mommy? we probably could have put another person in there. So definitely plenty of room for two to three people. The the rooftop tent itself weighs 150 pounds. The interior um, length is 84 inches and the width is 55 inches. The exterior of the unit is 85 inches long and 56 inches wide. It comes with an 8.5 foot telescopic ladder. Um, it does come with crossbars and the towers for the crossbars that you can put on top of the Adventure XL. That was kind of a big deal for me. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. It comes with an anti-condensation mat underneath the mattress. There is a mattress in there. I think it's three inches. I, that, I didn't look that up, but I think it's a three inch memory foam mattress. Um, it has some detachable pockets, a four foot by four foot ground mat, waterproof storage bag, LED lights, and a privacy tent. Um, and I'll show you guys all that. Um, I really like this tent because you can set it up pretty quick and take it down pretty quick. It's, it's great for one person. I'm going to move my camera so you can see me kind of set it up and uh, take it down. Well, I won't take it down Mommy. today, but you can see me Mommy. set it up. Yep, Look what the timer says. Oh my gosh, the timer says four minutes and three seconds. These people have listened to us talk for four minutes and six seconds now. You think they're going to hang out with us? The, who are they? I don't know. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause button or whatever, see if I can get you guys set up so you guys can see my setup. Okay, so this here is my pickup. It's just a 2013 F-150. I have a topper on it, and I went ahead and put some crossbars on the topper because this, this rooftop tent sits on those crossbars. Okay, I just got back from a family reunion, so um, that's one of the reasons I'm opening the tent. There was just a little bit of moisture in there this morning and I want to get it open as fast as possible. I do have an awning over here. One thing I wanted to point out to you guys on this rooftop tent, handy, handy thing to know. 
there's ignore the bugs like i said just got back from a trip this strap right here keeps the tent down you definitely if if your tent is sitting over the cab of your pickup kind of like mine is you definitely want to tuck this in because if you do not tuck this in on that little deal right there this sucker will sit up here and just flap all day long and it is so annoying so here we go I sped this up for boredom reasons, <laughs> but I get up on top, there's two latches to undo and then a strap that connects it. I undo the same strap from the back in both latches. Just kind of give it a quick push up, the struts do the rest. I pull out the ladder and all the extra tools, whatever I need. I undo the ladder, raise it up, hook it in. Same thing on the other side, just give it a quick push and that's it, it's done. Okay, so um, it took me, that last video I did was 1 minute and 48 seconds, so I had the rooftop deployed in 1 minute 48 seconds, under 2 minutes. I can sleep in it the way that it is now. All of my bedding, pillows, the mattress, that's all up there, but they give you these rods to open the flaps. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put those rods in and open up the flaps. Um, there are three sides. I'm gonna see if I can flip this. There are three sides that you can attach the ladder. So there's ladder hooks there. There's ones in the back, which I don't use because I use my bed when I'm camping. And then there's also one on the other side, which I can't use because I've got my awning there. So I've limited myself to only using one side, but honestly, I haven't been in a situation where it's been an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these rods in. Let's see if I can show you kind of what they look like. I'm doing this one-handed, folks. It could get interesting. Okay. So it's just a little rod like this. And all the way around the tent, there are places to put it. So if you lift this little flap up here, there's a, there's a hole. And underneath, there's a hole to stick end of the rod. Now, when you come in, you do not want to come straight in. You kind of want to come in at an angle. So I'm going to do that real quick here. Okay, got the rod in there. And there'll be two for each door. And now what you're going to do is, I'm going to get you set up where you can see me kind of using this or putting it in. I'm going to take this first flap here. I'm try not to cover you in the bug screen. Whoop, it's going to work in here. Whoa. Where are you folks going? Stay, stay still. I'm a one man show here. Trust me, you don't want Barrett using the video on this sucker. Um, okay, let's see if I can get it. So what you wanna do is bend your rod up. There's little holes at, at the tip of, at the corner of each of these, and you just hook it, okay? I'm gonna go all the way around and do that real quick, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And that is what it looks like when they're all deployed. Mommy, I'm in the video too. You are in the video. He's practicing his anchor toss. So like I said, there's four doors. There is one window toward the front. Oops, I didn't get that one hooked quite right. I'll fix it. Pretty easy. There is a window toward the front. Um, it does not obviously lean out like the others, but you can roll it up. Every single one of these windows and doors has no CM mesh on it. And that is absolutely outstanding. So let's go take a look inside. All of this stuff stores inside the tent when it's down. The ladder, the poles, the little extra bags, my sleeping bag, pillows. It's fantastic. Let's take a look inside. This mesh also rolls up, but we're getting into bug season, so I try to leave it zipped up. This is the inside. We just got done camping. Sorry if it's a mess. That LED light, you can just plug into a power bank and it's actually very, very, that one right there, it's pretty bright, very bright. There is netting up above that we can put a whole bunch of stuff in there. We put like our sweatshirts and stuff in there for morning time if we need it. And then what we do is we lay down here and I'll put my phone right here. I'll just kind of wedge it in to the mesh and we'll watch a quick movie it doesn't usually last very long but just long enough to keep them occupied there's a strut in each corner that's what lifts the tent 
They're actually really strong struts. And Roof Nest supplies you with a strut lock that you can attach in case it gets super windy. I haven't needed that yet. Um, this is just a, these are pretty thick pillows that can sit up in here. So it's pretty nice just to have all this stuff ready or in here. This is a sleeping bag that I got from Cabela's. It's a Rogue Expedition. I got two of them. They're rated for negative 40 degrees. Um, they're the large ones and I just zipped them together. That's what I was using in here because we were camping pretty late in the season. Uh, pretty early in the season and it was getting cold like it was pretty chilly it was you know I think down to negative 20 and some of you are probably like well it's not that cold but I had a heater buddy up in here and I would just turn it on for a few minutes to kind of get rid of the chill and we were comfortable in the sleeping bag I just have one of them in here now just to cover up with and it's great it fits up here um turn this around this is I put this sheet on here to kind of keep things clean because I got a kid but see if I can take it off here for you just the corner Oop, hold on this is the mattress that comes with it and it comes with a mattress cover that is washable um, it's pretty thick pretty thick mattress and there's the anti-condensation mat um, this mattress was absolutely amazing um, but I'm on the roof nest Facebook page and a lot of people were complaining about the comfort of the mat hold on babe so I couldn't complain. In my opinion, I wasn't camping on the ground. It was comfortable as all get out. Like, what are these people complaining about? But uh, there was a post that got me. Somebody went and bought like a two inch memory foam from Walmart and threw it on top, said everything still fits. Okay, so I did that. And this weekend was the first time I used it. I just got this blue one, cut it to fit. You, you really have to be careful because these struts need to go down in this area when it closes. I'll tell you what folks I don't care how tough you are that's worth it totally worth it I woke up feeling like I could run a two mile and I hate running so that extra extra mattress really helped me but the mattress that it comes with absolutely outstanding um, I'm gonna kind of see if I can set you up right here so you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of space in here I mean this is me sitting and I've got hold on darling I got another hand up above me so there's a lot of room in here um if it rains or something we can come up here play cards um you know whatever it's it's honestly been a great tent i've been out here in probably 30 or 40 mile an hour wind it's held up great it held, held up great in the wind um it was frosty a couple mornings when we were out and it was great in, in the in the cold haven't been out here in the snow or anything but I mean, I'm sure this thing would do absolutely amazing. It, they do sell an insulation kit, so you can put insulation along the inside. Haven't tried that. Don't think I will. I don't think it's something that I'm going to use. Um, but yeah, this is the tent. So I talked about the mattress upgrade. I want to show you another upgrade that I did to the ladder. So come with me. I'll show you real quick. So the ladder that came with it, I loved. It's great. It's lightweight. It fits in the tent while traveling. You don't have to store it someplace else, which was huge for me. Um, but a review that it got was that it's not very comfortable walking on with bare feet. And I thought, oh, it can't be that bad, right? Because we're all tough. But it's really not comfortable, folks. It's really not. Because here, okay, it's just, you know, regular aluminum ladder. But these, um, these steps... They kind of sit at an angle once you get it set up and you're stepping on the edge with your bare feet and it is rather painful. So on, on their Facebook page, somebody had mentioned getting these ladder rungs from 230. I will try to post, if I can figure out how, post the link for these. I think they were like, let me go see how much they were. Okay, they were, I just looked at them today. They were $37.95. I ended up paying $47.95 with shipping. So for almost 50 bucks i don't know if you want to spend that or not to eat your own ladder rungs and they don't look like a whole lot but i'll tell you what these are a lot more comfortable walking on because you really don't want you to wear your shoes in there um it can get kind of messy, especially with a kid another thing that i recommend getting i don't have yet but maybe a little handheld vacuum i think would be a saving grace in this thing so yeah that's the tent if you liked this video so far, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, ask me questions, let me know how my first video was. 
Um, I'm going to go into, I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to go into why I chose the roof nest over the other model that I was looking at and why I'm happy with that decision and one reason that I'm not. So here we go. All right, folks, why I went with this rooftop tent. So I knew after doing like three years of research that I wanted to go with uh, roof nest as a company. They had pretty good reviews, like not pretty good, really good. Um, as, as did other companies this one just spoke to me this was this was the company that spoke to me it, so to each their own whatever I, I liked this company uh, they had three models they had a condor which go check them out I'm gonna try to drop a link in this video somewhere or underneath or this is my first time dropping a link so if I don't get it I'm sorry Mommy, what's a, link? a link I'm not even I don't even know what a link is at this point in time buddy I'm gonna figure it out though we'll figure it out okay uh, go check out the the condor. It looks great. It's like a fold-out tent. It's got a lot of room I didn't like that one because it didn't look like it was gonna be as sturdy in the wind as the other two models Okay, so that knocked it down to the Falcon or the Sparrow the Falcon. I loved it's a clamshell tent Looked awesome like had a lot of room in there pretty good size. You can even get the model that has the um, The crossbars on it to store stuff on top the reason that I went with Just this one. Show them the bottom of the tent. Okay. The reason that I went with this one instead of the Falcon is honestly being able to store everything inside. Which now listening to some people on the Facebook page, I guess there are folks who do store some things inside of their Falcon. Um, I haven't seen anybody with the ladder in there yet. So if you do, cool. Let people know that you can put the ladder in there too. Um, but I, you know, at the time he was four. And going camping with a kid, period, you want to do the least amount of packing, the least amount of whatever as possible. This this tent, toward the end of the winter, I put my sleeping bag and pillows in there, and it stayed in there all winter. They didn't ever get any moisture in there. Like, they, they were great. I can store the ladder in there, the extra gear in there, the, you know, I, I put an extra two-inch mattress, memory foam mattress in there. That was huge for me. Um... I feel like maybe the Falcon would have done better better in the wind just be, and I don't this thing has done great in the wind just in my mind the Falcon looks a little more sturdy because it is the clamshell um, but very happy with this I, another reason I went with this is because I could probably fit like you know we go camping with my parents a lot and in a rainstorm or something I could probably fit all of us in that tent sitting down and just enjoying a game of cards or something to do you know it just seemed Mommy, to be a little more roomy how about play with toys yeah, and we could play with toys, like dinosaur toys. Hey, what's your favorite dinosaur? T-Rex. T-Rex. So, if any of y'all are fans of T-Rexes, you just Mommy. got a new best friend. Um, so that's a lot of the reason, the main reason that I went with this tent. Um, I can store stuff on top. I've got his little bitty kayak that maybe I'll do a video on later, but it's just a little lifetime vibe. I think it's like an 80 pound kayak not even 80 pounds it's Mom, super light we don't do it later okay I, I won't do it later we're done with the videos after this I promise he wants to go down by the river so I'm trying to speed it along um but I went with this tent for storing stuff in um one my one qualm about this tent besides the ladder and as far as I know roof nest has kind of fixed that problem I believe they're selling their new falcons with a ladder that has slanted uh, steps on it. So maybe not even an issue that you guys will have to deal with if you're looking at purchasing from roof nest I'll show you my qualm the struts the way that this on a, on a falcon the struts are on the outside of the tent on the root on the sparrow The struts are on the inside. So when the tent closes my struts have been rubbing on the tent itself I went on to the Facebook page and asked if you know anybody else has been doing this There's a few people who have a few people who haven't they're, they're saying me. I haven't you know, maybe I'm not packing it in right. I'm packing it in just like everybody else. I'm trying all sorts of things. It's still rubbing on the tent. It hasn't rubbed a hole in it. Um, but that is definitely something to consider with this tent. I've used, we've gone out in this maybe 15 times already, maybe 10. I might be exaggerating uh, a little bit. How about 10, Mom? How about 10? Boss man says 10. So I'm going to show you that damage real quick. Um, like I said, it hasn't been an issue yet but it looks like in the future, it's gonna be an issue. So, I'll show you. Okay, so right up here, you can see already, sorry, there's vehicles going by. This is where 
that strut, when it closes, it's starting to rub on the tent. And it rubs there, it rubs there, it rubs on every side. So definitely something to, I need to wrap it up. Definitely something to think about. Um, I can't say anything good or negative about the Falcon because I've never used that. Would I buy this tent again? Absolutely stinking lootly. It is the coolest thing in the world. I love it to death. And I'm gonna use it till, I'm gonna ride it till the wheels fall off. So that's the Roof Nest Sparrow XL, Adventure XL. When I close it down, I'll try to do another video to show you how I close it. Um, honestly, probably takes even less time to close it down. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please hit that subscribe button, that like button. Let me know what I did right. Let me know what I did wrong. I'm still learning here. And enjoy the rest of your weekend.